Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Snehal, and yes, we got new curtains. Lot of you ask me to do video on skincare tips or a skincare routine for beginners, and by lot I mean three of you. And I really wanted to do this skincare video, so here I am with a skincare video. Also, this video is gonna be little long because I'm going to talk about skincare first. Then I will start actual skincare routine video. So if you want to skip this part, then you can refer to the timelines which are given on the screen. I will put it in description as well. And without further ado, let's get started. So first disclaimer: I'm not a professional dermatologist or a skin professional. So the things which I'm telling in this video are some things which worked very well for me, and also some things which I wish I knew back then. So first, let's talk about some misunderstanding which are around this topic of skin care. So the first very popular misunderstanding about skin care is that skin care is for women only, which is totally not true. I can understand why this misunderstanding is there. Most of the skin care products are marketed towards women from very long time, which is now changing. And most of the skin care products are meant for all genders. but there are few products which are meant for particular gender so skin care is not only for women second misunderstanding is that i don't have pimples then i don't need skin care so skin care is not a must it's written in its name it's skin care taking care is never mandatory it's always recommended skin care is not mandatory it's recommended also just because you don't get acne or pimple does not mean your skin does not suffer your skin is one of the largest organ of your body so your skin is always suffering whether it's from sun or dehydration or anything so it makes sense to take care of your skin right so these are some common misunderstanding so coming to the skin care routine for beginners i'm not going to share my current skin care routine because my skin has good tolerance now because i'm doing skin care for last 3 years so in this video i will majorly talk about skin care for beginners i have normal to oily skin type which means my skin does not get oily but at the end of the day my nose will be little oily and also i have acne prone skin i have hormonal acne so hormonal acne is something which you can't stop externally it all depends on your stress level or uh, what you eat or anything so it is something which i can't totally stop it and if you have some doubts on how your skin is going to react to certain product then do patch testing just apply the product behind your ears uh, and leave it there for 24 hours and see if anything happens if your skin react to that then probably your skin is going to react to so if you are someone who have very sensitive skin do the patch testing before buying the product so for the basic skin care i don't want you to scare with lot of products so uh, i'm not going to talk about serums which are my favorite products but uh, for beginners i think it's okay if you skip the serum part just get used to the process and then you will know what your skin really needs then you can add uh, different type of serums so the first thing i'm going to talk about is double cleansing so the double cleansing means first you clean your makeup or sunscreen uh, then you wash with your regular face wash to deeply clean your skin because makeup and sunscreen does not go away with single face wash so for double cleansing you can use either oil cleanser or micellar water so micellar water looks something like this this is by garnier you just take on your cotton pad and remove your makeup and uh, sunscreen and oil cleansers look something like this so this is by face shop this is the rice water bright rich cleansing oil don't confuse cleansing oil with your regular coconut oil because these cleansing oils are particularly formulated to removing your makeup they are easily diluted in water and like coconut oil coconut oil can clog your pore and it will make your skin burst so don't use coconut oil to remove your makeup personally i will suggest go for cleansing oils they are very easy to use you to pour one or two pumps and just start massaging your face 
it will even remove your waterproof mascara very easily second step in the cleansing is water based cleanser so water based cleanser are your regular cleansers for that i will suggest if you have very sensitive skin then go for a gentler face wash like cetaphil i don't have a bottle with me right now but it looks something like this and the second recommendation i have is this ines free facial foam this is by ines free this is their beja trouble facial foam and this is such a wonderful product foam is very good it will give you that squeaky clean uh, feeling without making your skin feel dry also they have a lot of variants in this and you will need very little product of this so it's going to last you for a very long time so next is scrubbing removing dead skin uh, from your face is very important because if you don't remove your dead skin then you will see some dullness in your skin and also it will not penetrate your other skin care products now i have switched to uh, chemical exfoliants but for beginners i will not suggest you to uh, start with chemical exfoliant start with uh, physical scrubs then slowly build up your skin tolerance then switch to milder uh, chemical exfoliant so for the beginners i will suggest you to go for this face scrub by the face shop jeju volcanic lava the scrub particles are very fine it will not irritate your skin you are going to feel like you have new skin after using this also keep in mind don't use too much pressure otherwise you will damage your skin more if you don't know uh, how much pressure is too much then use your ring finger because ring finger have very low strength so you will not put too much pressure on your skin so the third step is toning this step is totally optional if you don't want to do it it's okay if you skip it i love to use toner because it just give instant hydration to my skin the toner i will recommend is this by plum so this toner is one of my favorite toner and if you have acne prone skin then you are going to love this product to use it you just have to take some amount on your uh, cotton pad and just use it on your face or you can just take it on your bare hands and just massage your face next step is moisturizer for beginners if you have not used any kind of moisturizer before so go for some simple moisturizer so which will not react on your skin very dramatically uh, one of the moisturizer which is my favorite is by pons uh, i don't remember the name but uh, this is how it looks but if you have very sensitive skin then go for gentle moisturizers like cetaphil or neutrogena I use lot of serums which I prefer to mix with my moisturizer to reduce its concentration. That's why I use uh, moisturizers like Cetaphil. Next is lip balm. For lip balm also I have two recommendation. This is by Neutrogena again. This is their lip moisturizer SPF 15 and if you are someone who goes out then do use this moisturizer because it have SPF 15. and sun can damage your skin like nothing else the second lip balm recommendation i have is this lupus papa ointment if you are someone who have dry lips or your lips get very easily chapped then use this at night now the very most product for everyone is sunscreen i can't stop talking about sunscreen the sun is not going to be like this person is not getting any pimple I will not damage uh, their skin. Sun will damage everyone's skin. So if you are someone who lives in such a place where you don't get to see sun at all, then you don't need sunscreen. Otherwise, you need sunscreen. Many of us don't wear sunscreen because it makes our skin feel greasy. But now there are a lot of different types of sunscreen, so I don't think it will be a problem anymore. Sunscreen which I use. is this uv dox gold silicone sunscreen gel but if you are not fan of silicone based product then you can go for sunscreens like neutrogena this is neutrogena ultra sheer and dry touch sunblock spf 50 and the third sunscreen which i will suggest uh, is by lotus herbal i actually like all of the lotus herbal uh, sunscreen they all work very good and you will different type of consistency depending on what kind of sunscreen you need so wear your sunscreen before leaving your house 
make sure you are reapplying your sunscreen every 2 to 3 hours and the last product i will say is spot treatment spot treatments are something which uh, i really need because i get very painful pimples spot tre treatments are something which you will just put on your pimples uh, it will reduce the swelling so the spot treatment i use uh, is by this cosrx this is their centella blemish cream there are a lot of different uh, spot treatments in the market but i really like this one even though it's little expensive but you just need to apply on your spot so it's going to last for a very long time so these are my picks for skincare for beginners i know it might sound a lot but actually once you start doing your skincare you will actually feel very nice it's really good to give some time to yourself do let me know your favorite skincare product in the comment below also don't forget to check out my instagram handle i post a lot on my instagram so go there follow me don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also share my video with your friends and family it will be very helpful you can show your love by liking this video and sharing to other people and forcing them to subscribe to my channel i know i am not consistent on this channel but guys i'm very lazy so yeah that's my emotional excuse um, but keep showing me your support it means a lot when you hit the like button when you dm me it means a lot to me so thank you and i hope i will see you guys very soon bye so without a so without further ado let's just get started